Hello and welcome to Crow Forest, the podcast. So we are back once again at a production section. This is the third production trip of this production process. And uh, this one starts on November 25 of 2022. I'm back once again at my sister's house for another filming trip. We were originally going to hold off until next week for this trip in order to avoid trying to film over Thanksgiving weekend. But then my sister remembered that we actually need to film with her Halloween decorations still in place for continuity. So we had to bump up filming so we could get in one last production trip. Of course, this means combining a filming trip with Thanksgiving, but oh well, hopefully this will work out okay. This time, since we've gathered together for Thanksgiving, my older sister is here too, so this is the perfect opportunity to film the scene involving friends, who I'm now realizing never actually got a name. Whoops. The first thing we filmed was the scene of Maureen and friends coming to the house after dance class and or drinks at the coffee shop. I guess I never gave Maureen a character name either. Damn, I'm bad at this. I set up the camera inside the miniature, removing the outer wall to make it fit. And I got a shot of the door through the miniature window, which looks really cool. But unfortunately, I got two different scenes mixed up, so we had to refilm it. I had Maureen answer the door like she does in the opening scene, but since this was the scene after the dance class, she should have come through the door with friends. And I can't even use this footage earlier in the movie because when Maureen answers the door at the beginning of the movie, the miniature isn't there yet. Damn it, why am I so bad at this? Anyway, we fixed the shot and then we moved on to get additional coverage of the sequence. Getting shots from below looking up from the miniature, shots from above looking down on them as they looked down into the miniature, and some straight on shots. Once we were done with that, we moved on to the next scene, or rather, the previous scene, with Maureen answering the door to find friends standing there. See? This is why I was so confused. We're filming out of order. I got a couple of shots of Maureen opening the door, a close-up shot and a further out wide shot, and then I got a tracking shot of her walking to the garage and opening the door. I got several shots of Maureen and friends getting bins out of the car and bringing them into the garage and stacking them up on the floor. They were actually bins of Christmas decorations that we had brought from home for Maureen to use. So that worked out nicely. After that, Maureen helped me to get a shot for the opening production logo. I'm not sure if I'll end up using this shot or if I'll just go with the green screen version. If I use this shot, then I'll have to blur out her address, whereas in the green screen version, working from the still picture of her house, I have it nicely blocked out with fake bricks. I don't know what will end up looking better. Alright, and um, this next section is pretty short, so I think I'll go ahead and uh, read the next one, and then I'll leave uh, the next two sections for next week, and then that'll get us back uh, to post-production in two weeks. Yeah, so November 26, 2022. Maureen had to work today, but I still had plenty of work to do. My major project for today was to paint the walls of the miniature to match the new paint color. I took the miniature out to the garage and used Q-tips to paint the walls using the leftover paint at the bottom of the paint cans used to paint her house. Okay, I say paint a lot in that sentence, but I don't really know if I can uh, clean that up any. So, uh, I guess you're just going to have to deal with that. It was slow, messy work, but I got it done, and it looks really good. I just hope that I've already filmed everything I need with the unpainted walls. And uh, on that note, um, do you remember from a few weeks ago when I was talking about how uh, when Maureen was getting water from the fridge and there was the pan over shot to the miniature 
and uh, how I said that we actually forgot to get that shot. Well, um, yeah, we uh, forgot to get that shot, so now um, when we went back and got that shot, it was unfortunately after the walls were painted, so... You know, that's a bit of a plot hole because that comes early in the movie before the uh, walls have transitioned. We even have a line later in the movie after that scene where uh, I believe Friend is the one who specifically says, Oh, well, at least the walls aren't the same color. That would be way too creepy. Or, you know, something along those lines. And it's like, yeah, we already had a shot where the walls had already been painted. So, uh, yeah, continuity is a pain. And, um, yeah, this is... Oh, well, it happens. Yep, continuity. Next, I got a bunch of pickup shots. When I was editing, I found that I kept needing to cut to something. But I didn't have anything to cut to. So I filmed some insert shots of her chandelier, some of her decorations, and various other shots that might be useful in the editing process. I also got a couple of stop-motion sequences, one of her globe spinning, and another of the magnetic letters on her fridge rearranging. Oh, also, I got a shot of my crow-forced outfit hanging in Maureen's closet. I thought that that might make a nice little Easter egg. That is the end of November 26, 2022, so we will leave off there for today, and uh, join me back here next week, and we will continue with the next two days of this production trip with November 28th and uh, November 27. I did not say those in order, but just deal with that. So, uh, hope to see you then.